Hey guys, welcome back to no episode number two of Metronome Wars. Met the Metronome Wars series is a really fun series to do. Basically, I use the action replay to replace TM01 Focus Punch with Metronome, and then I use the code to make it so that any Pokemon can learn any TM, and then they all can learn Metronome. Anyway, so um, Gallic goes ahead and uses Crush Grip. Which is Reg Regigigas' signature move. It does absolutely nothing because the fort just have freakishly high defense. I'm using the same team as last time, except my my opponent is using the team I used last time, and I'm using their team. So Whaler uses Drill Peck. He doesn't even have a beak. So how can he peck somebody? I don't know. Pokemon logic. So it does absolutely nothing to um, Rhyperior. And um, Rapier uses Metronome, and he gets Lucky Chance, which prevents my opponent from getting critical hits on me, which is pretty u which is pretty useful. And so Fortress uses Metronome, and he gets Brave Bird, which makes no sense whatsoever. Fortress is actually a Bagworm, believe it or not. So how can you learn Brave Bird? That's just stupid. So anyway, he was tough enough, strong enough to take down Gallade pretty easily. But he took a lot of recoil damage. So he sends out Prival, my Aerodactyl, well, their Aerodactyl. Okay. And he uses Metronome. <coughs> and then he uses String Shot, which is does not look very appetizing, especially to Rapier because my Rapier my is actually female. So that probably changed outlook on everybody or whatever. Yeah, whatever. So then Waylor uses Vacuum Wave and did that Vacuum Wave just come out of Waylor to ass? Because it sure looked like it. <laughs> that that was stupid. Then Rhyperior uses close combat, which is pretty useful. It does well, more than half damage to Aerodactyl, but Rhyperior gets lowered in defense and special defense. And takes recoil damage from Life Orb. And all the Pokemon have Life Orb so that they do more damage and that they take um, recoil damage every turn. Because I don't want the battle dragging on too long. So yeah. And Metronome. And he gets Air Cutter. I'm not sure if Air Dash can learn that or not. I think he can learn that. I'm not sure. Correct me if I'm wrong. So it does absolutely nothing because Air Cutter, Air Cutter is a weak attack, anyways. So then Whaler uses Double Team, and I hate Double Team. I like using it, but I hate it when my opponents use it against me. Painful memories from battling Lieutenant Surge and Soul Silver version. Painful, painful memories. Cannonball uses dive on Aerodactyl and finish it off very easily. And plus, how the heck does Fortress not rust when he dove into the water? He's he's made out, he's basically made out of steel. Steel rusts in water. Eh, whatever. Maybe he. he I, I don't. It's it's too hard to explain. I'm not even going to bother. So. I'm too slow. Their Ampharos uses. He's go, it's gonna use Shadow Force, and that's just stupid. That, that I, w I was cracking up when he used that move. Then so Willow uses Poison Tail. It's more like Poison Headbutt because he headbutts Rhyperior instead of whipping him with his tail, which is really weird. But it poisons Rhyperior, which kind of sucks. You know, it does. It does not matter if you win or lose in a Metronome battle. Because you're mainly just here to see the stupid moves that the Pokemon get. And so um, Rhyperior uses... <coughs> wait, I think I think you tried to use Parasong, or I, I didn't see it. So anyway, Cannonball uses Pluck, but it misses. Rhyperior is hurt by Poison. And this Metronome. Basically just mash the A button, that's basically all you do in a Metronome battle. So then... He uses Shadow Force and just completely destroys Rhyperior. And he goes down. Well, she goes down. Yes, my Rhyperior is female. That's why I named it Horn. Get it? So that Skitty, their Wailord, then uses Mega Horn. 
Waylord, you don't have a beak, so what? You don't have a horn, so what makes you think you can use Mega Horn? And that did absolutely nothing. And whatever. And then Fortress uses Metronome, and it uses Double Edge. And it actually surprisingly did quite a bit of damage to Waylord, but the recoil knocks out the um, Fortress, which is kind of unfortunate, but whatever. So, um, the Saint Flight Bucky Champ wears off, and I send in I is Badass, my Metagross, and um, Fart Nugget, my Weezing. Yeah, I couldn't come up with a better nickname for Weezing, so I named it Fart Nugget. Both sides still have a chance to win. <laughs> I'm sorry. And so, um, Weezing uses Metronome and. He uses Constrict, but it misses. I don't understand how he'd be able to constrict somebody in the first place. Because he doesn't have anything that he can constrict it with. And the Metagross uses Fire Blast and knocks out Waylord. Like, wow. He used Ember in the last mission of battle. I guess it um, took steroids, steroids or something and powered up his Embers and turned it into Fire Blast. I don't know. So Ombros uses Metronome and... It uses muddy water, and it um it does about half damage to Weezing and Metagross, but thankfully it does not lower their accuracy, which is a good thing, obviously. So he sends in Needle King. Hopefully, he doesn't turn gay on us, because in the last battle, Needle King actually used Sweet Kiss on on Fortress. My Fortress actually happens to be male. So yeah, who knew that Pokemon could turn gay? So Nido King uses Reversal, which is pretty pointless because it does more damage if Nido King is attacked on the same turn. But but it gets a critical hit, but it does absolutely nothing because Weezing is a physical wall. So Weezing uses Metronome and he gets Shadow Ball, which is a pretty good attack. Weezing doesn't have that good special attack, but hey, at least it lowered his special defense. So Metagross is Metronome, I I'm just going to stop saying that. So then he uses Guillotine, but it misses. That doesn't matter too, too much. <clears throat> then uh, This guy gets really lucky, right? He gets Thunderbolt. That guy, he Ampharos got lucky this battle. He got freaking Thunderbolt. That was just, that was just pure luck right there. That was, so, that, the Ampharos I think got the, was the luckiest Pokemon in this battle. So like I'm down to my last three guys. So I send an air horn, my X Bloud. And yep, metronome, 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 whatever. So then Needle King uses metronome. Ah there I said it again, sorry. He uses Earthquake, which is pretty funny. <laughs> well it knocks out Metagross, does a little bit more does more than half to um X Bloud. So Metagross faints doesn't matter too too much but he also knocks out his own partner which is pretty funny so Omphoros goes down so, and let's see what he gets I forgot what he gets here right here but yeah he, he's a charge beam but Neo King's a park ground type so he's so he's immune to electric so I send in, send in my last guy, which is Kamehameha, my Lucario. You, you all should know why I named him that. Then they send in, send in Captain Falhen, my third Blaziken. Yeah, Captain Falhen, yeah. Captain Falcon, Captain Falhen. I think they should team up, in, team up in the next match for this game. So anyway, Nido King uses um, Crab Hammer, which is pretty weird because it doesn't even have any, like, Crab claws or whatever to understand how it could pull that off. Uh, Captain Falhen uses Metronome and he uses Heal Order, but he's already have full HP. That's pretty funny. Waste of a turn right there. Then Vicario, he uses Gust. And he looks like he just he looks like he like just burped and a purple puff of wind came out of his burp and it did damage to Nido King. I, I don't know how to explain it. Then he uses Expo uses Defend Order, which raises his defense. 
and special defense, but it was somewhat pointless because X Cloud does not have that great defense. But it has some pretty good HP. But other than that, it it's a decent normal type. So then Nidor King uses Hydro Cannon. My opponent got hecka lucky. He all he got all these super powerful moves. I got like just like normal average powerful moves. My opponent got super lucky in this battle. So then Blazy can use his metronome and he gets U-turn. Does nothing to Lucario because you turn is not that good of, a, of an attack. Well, I t actually I take that back. It is a good attack, but you know, the card first. And Lucario uses lovely kiss on the uh, on Nido King. Oh god! And, I, and Nido King was just so shocked that he fell asleep. Blaze so, can use metronome and. He uses uproar, which is a whole, which is not very good um, attack. It does quite a bit of damage to Lucario, actually. It did a lot more than I expected it to. Then again, Blaziken does have, I think he has a high special attack of all, normal, of all starter Pokemon. I'm not sure. Lucario uses Twister and finishes off Nido King. Yeah, Nido King died in his sleep. That's like the worst way to die. Actually, no, it's not. But then Lucario gets knocked out to a life orb. See, I lost, but it's not about if you win or lose in a metronome battle. You're just here to see the stupid moves the po uh, Pokemon use. So I should have the third up episode uploaded later today. So see you guys then.